Hello and welcome to my revised and edited series of videos on how to achieve any level of tactical mastery inside of Romance of the Three Kingdoms 8 for the PS2. I happen to be playing this on the PCSX2 emulator for the PC, but I'll follow a style of play that, you know, is exactly like what you'd be doing on the PS2. Um, this series of videos is intended to be a little easier to understand and follow than the previous series that I posted. Simply because, you know, I've done it recently, I've prepared for it this time, and hopefully I won't be rambling as much about random things and making it incomprehensible in the process. So, the thing that you want to do is you go to new officers, and this is, um, this can be used for, you know, any officers whatsoever inside of the game, but you just have to set it up properly and get creative if it involves an NPC that you want to train. But basically what we want to do is we want to train our guy to um, just, you know, any one guy. We want to give him whatever tactics you want to give him and we want to make them any level of masteries that you want to make him within uh, any amount of months from six months to say about two years of in-game time at the beginning of any game so that you can enjoy your games better later down the line. So here's the guy that I want to train. His name is Isaac Newton. And you'll see here that he begins with this set of tactics. And the set of tactics that I want him to have, just give me a couple of seconds here. After nine months of game time, we'll see if that actually is possible, is this set of tactics. So you see there's three M's and a number of fours and a one. I'm leaving the charge on train. 3Ms, 4 5s, 4 uh, fours, and 1 charge. Moving the charge on train so that he can learn infantry and cavalry and king and liangs respectively, you know, after I'm done with the training period. Just to, you know, tack on a couple extra skills, get him ready for, uh, for a stage later. But this is what it's going to look like after 9 months of playtime. So that's not bad considering, you know, you still got about 30 40 years if you still want to play this character. And he's, he's going to be top notch at the end of that. Um, so let's go on with the training. Pretty much the goal of the whole thing is... I gotta exit out a few times here. Sorry. Pretty much the goal... The, uh, a rough overview of the training is we're gonna set two forces against each other. And one force is going to include Isaac Newton and whatever teachers, such as Albert Einstein, I have him set as a teacher for him. Teacher meaning he's gonna give him a few tactics that he doesn't have, ambush, rock, slide, and volley. I've set him as a friend of Isaac Newton, and vice versa. And they're going to be part of one force. On another adjacent force, I will have 15 junk characters or extra officers here that will all have the cavalry skill, which is very important. All these bows are the extra officers I'm referring to. Um, they're all going to have the cavalry skill. One's going to be the ruler, obviously. And one's going to be the warlord. And he's going to have an intelligence above 70. Um, I don't care what taxes they have. Just uh, just make the 15 officers. Make sure they have cavalry, one warlord. And, uh, you know, that's pretty much it. So we begin that way. I like to set as the parent of all these extra characters. Some other character, i.e. the ruler. And, you know, make sure their birthdays coincide with the scenario that I want to play my original character in, Isaac Newton. I'm going to play Isaac Newton in the 194 scenario. And so I have Bowser, who's going to be the ruler of the other force. Born in 150, the other guy's born in 170. Everything works out great. And so we'll save here. Hopefully they didn't update. Um, let me just check something. Yeah, alright. So we're ready to go. So we begin in 184. This can be done in every scenario, by the way. We're beginning 194 in Sanjiang and Jianning. First, I'll select. Those are good cities, by the way, for what I'll show you uh, soon. They have all the tactical, uh, tactical, or what I want to say. They have all the terrain types for training tactics, very close to the to the outpost, so that we're accruing extra TP per battle, and it's just making the process very efficient. So I'll choose. Albert Einstein, Isaac Newton as two officers, Bowser, the ruler of the other force, as one, and just five of the other characters for the other force, including the Warlord. I've made notches next to their names just to make things a little bit more efficient and more uh, 
uh, easier just to do and follow. So I've got these eight officers, and I'll make two new forces. First would be Bowser's force. That'll be in, this is pretty important for the battlefield choice, Jian Ning, as well as having him near Chengdu, and uh, I'll explain. You'll, you'll see later why that's imperative. To be in the force, I'm going to choose the Warlord first, and then eight of the other officers, which I'm not playing as. Bao Q will be left out, but I'll just position him along with the other characters. I'll do that now. I'll position, as free officers, the other four characters in the e that will be part of the extra force that I'm not playing as, as well as that Bao Q guy that I've I said that uh, very poorly. These four officers that I am playing as, I'll position them in that city, but they won't be part of the force. As well as Bao Q, who won't be part of the force, and I'm not playing as him. But it'll make it easier to hire him, for reasons to be explained. I accidentally added him to Luyan's force, now that he's in Bowser's force. And now I'll make a second force. To have either Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein as the ruler. I like to make my own character as the ruler. And then Albert Einstein or the other guy you know, vice versa, as the vassal. So we've got this set up. Once again, the warlord of the other force, who will be Baoban, is already a part of the force. That's very important, part of the extra force, so that we can set him as a warlord now in this set series of months. And then in the next council period, we have some extra turns for which to play these characters. I'll explain that sh again shortly. So everything's set here. I like to play on beginner, and beginner will be easy, easier here to show you because of the higher in the increased levels of tactical success and whatnot. Uh, I'll just put make that part for now, and we'll begin. So in Bowser's Force, what we're going to need to do is, well, I guess we'll march with this guy, why not? He's part of the force already. We're going to march against Isaac Newton's force, who's been stationed in Xinjiang. And when we march against him, we're going to just have him himself go up against their force with a thousand horses. That's very important, a thousand and horses. And as, a retali as retaliation for defense, I'll have Isaac Newton go up against him with simply 10 troops. And the type of the troop will be dictated by the tactic that we want to train him for. So, let me just look at Isaac Newton's tactics real fast. And what I wanted to have is Spearwall at 5, Bombard at 6, Harass at 6, or M, Aerostorm at 5, Magic at 6, and Blaze at 5. The rest are going to be four, so it's not important. You know, I could train them in the barracks afterward, or train them in battle if I have some extra time. So uh, first, we'll start with training some of the threes. I'll start with Bombard. Why not? So we'll set his type to crossbows, and once again, he has only ten troops, which seems crazy, but I'll get into why that is in a moment. As Balban, oops. As Balban, we're going to choose as our strategy run and proceed. For Isaac Newton, he happens to have the bowman skill already, so we'll choose Barrage and station him on the outpost. If we didn't have Barrage, we want to choose either Improver or Intercept to put him on the outpost. And when we march, what we're going to do as we march, we'll just put Balban on a favorable area of terrain so that we can train our tactics. So here to be rivers or shallows or the mountains if we can reach that far, which we probably can with Barrage. And once we get there, we'll just start using Bombards successively again and again. Uh, oops. Maybe this is a shallow. So that'll be fine. So now we just use Bombards. And already, you could probably skip to the end of, it, of the video. As you see here, when we train the tactics, it's going to increase very quickly. We only want to do bombards here, so we'll wait on the other turns. And remember that it was uh, a tactical level of three, 
with zero experience so that we can repair it at the end of the battle. Probably just skip a couple of extra turns. When your unit is stationed on an outpost, you get three ex five extra TP each turn. So with Albert Einstein, or with Isaac Newton's current stats, we get 17 TP as a base from the war and the intellect added together, divided by 10, plus five more. So we get 22 TP a turn. 22 TP a turn means that we get 660 TP to play around with throughout the course of a battle, which means we can do, what is it, 15 or 16 bombards. Which is quite good. And we don't want a normal attack at all. If we were... If we had a troop here, as Isaac Newton, that was a melee character, such as, you know, infantry, or nanmen, or horses, and we were training something like Harass or, harass or Spearwall, well, we would not want to normal attack this guy who has a thousand troops, because then we'll be consumed by his troops will be captured and the battle will end and we won't be able to train all of our tactics some more by using all of the TP that's available in the, remain in the remaining turns. And that's the objective of this, is just to get as much TP as possible and to use as much of it as possible in order to train the tactics quicker. And everything else is optimized in order to, you know, make this favorable. So now I'll probably stop talking and you can just skip to the end of the battle. Oops, don't ever retreat. You could probably just skip to the end of the battle. Once again. Other battles will go similarly. And now we're already attacked at level 4 for a bombard. One thing you don't want to ever do is, you know, go over 100 TP, obviously, because then you won't be gaining TP. So just, you know, keep an eye out for when you have TP available for your tactic if you've lost track. Let's get to second guess yourself here. Since fire arrow is only 20 SP or TP, at the end of the battle, when I have already exhausted 640 TP by the last turn, only fire arrow would be available, so I might as well just, you know, use that, as you'll see here soon. That's exactly what I plan to do. I think it's the next turn. Provided it's not raining. So I should have... nope. I count it wrong. So we won't be able to use that fire arrow as it's, you know, instantly 60 TP. That's fine. We're at 76 experience, and so now it should be around 83. So we're almost at a, at a veteran or level 5 for that tactic, which is great. So we'll save here. We always want to save. Oh, no, not there. Uh, 803, 723, 9, 3. I guess I could do right here because he's. Is a cheap character. Very overpowered. So, no more suggestions for strategy for him. And as Bowser, we have 6 CP available. What we're gonna do first is make Balban a warlord. And for the remaining 5 turns, we'll send some of our vassals to just go attack Isaac Newton and train his tactics some more. So we begin. Marching downward. And besides this, and besides concluding the things, you pretty much know how everything is going to go. Uh, the playable characters inside of the Bow Force, we're going to have him have them pillage Chengdu, just to get some extra supplies so that they can keep marching. And then by the by the very end of the game. It'll minimize the amount of infamy that we get from getting rid of these extra characters, because we're going to execute them all. So, we just keep marching. And once again, I want to train Bombard, so I'll send him in with 10 crossbows.
use right as the strategy for the invading guy, Barrage, for Isaac Newton, so he's on the outpost. And pretty much 20 or so battles are going to go this way, maybe more. There are some slight differences when Isaac Newton, after the battle's turns are completed in council, when Isaac Newton's turn comes up as the ruler, we'll just send him out to start marching. He's going to have 10 troops again, they're going to have 1000, but we're going to be getting less TP because we're not in the outpost, so we're going to have to station the guy, you know, just have them meet halfway between the beginning camp and the, uh, the outpost when the bows are defending and just position him in the rivers or something because there'll be rivers there as well so you'll see all that pretty soon not very soon so the method is time consuming in real time and very boring but it's worth it at the end I'd say, because you get many, many hours of enjoyment of a full game with a very good officer that's not a computer character. So you know you're not just playing Jiga Liang if you want someone with two M's. Jiga Liang or some of the special characters that are in there, like Albert Einstein. So you can do, you know, mix for some flexibility. You could also train multiple, air, multiple characters. You have to possibly decrease the amount of uh, of bows that are in their force, but you can train, you know, up to seven guys if you want to. It'll be a lot less efficient, but you can, you know, work around that somehow. And it'll take a lot longer too. But currently this will only take about nine in-game months, which, you know, as you understand it, if you're training at barracks for nine months, you're not you could probably take a tactic from 1 to 4 if you're not saving and loading. So, in comparison, it's it's quite a deal. Quite a bargain. So now it's a uh, veteran at 66 XP, and now it's going to increase to something like 73. Or 74. 74. So we'll be a mastery by the end, maybe by the end of this battle. In this tactic. And this will be it. So I'll show the whole thing. Oh wait, no, probably the next turn. Damn. And here we are. And he's a mastery inside of a council period. And now we can start training, you know, do some other arrow storms once we have the, enough TP to do that. Car 60. Or we can do some blazes, because we want to get blaze and arrow storm both up to fives. Or we're not going to train anymore. You know, just to get some extra experience in there. And now we're at TP 40, so we can use that. I guess to do a fire hour. We're not trying to train it, but you know, why not get things higher? And since Aero Storm's only at one, but Spear All is at three, and we want to train Spear All as well, in the next battle, we'll go on with some admin or some foot soldiers and use Spear Wall. So. 
Just make sure you're never normal attacking or taunting anyone. And you'll be fairly set to use all your TP in any battle. So yeah, just be careful what you press. So again, 10 troops, and they're going to be foot. So we got to switch that around. Or Nadman. I hope I saved there. Let me just do something real fast. Because uh, I don't like to waste time. So he's going to be run, and this guy's going to be Nope, improve now. I'm going to station Bow F in the plains here, right next to the outpost. Right there. And start using Spearwall. It's good to count in events how much TP you have. So, for instance, Spearwall costs 65 TP, but I gain 66 every three turns. So then I could just wait three times, count the weights. So I can stop checking. Just, you know, check every now and then. So once again the bows are not doing anything but getting hit. And uh Yep. That's pretty much it. You can stop watching the video now if you want. I could tell you um but we're gonna be a four soon. I'll tell you what you have to do. Um wait, what turn is this? Sorry. At the very end. You know, just kill everybody else besides your character. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. And withdraw the gold before you quit the force if you want to join another force. And uh, I guess you can stop watching the series of videos now and move on to the hex editing series where I show you how to modify any of the game data in the game if you're playing on the PC for the PCSX2 emulator. Which is uh, quite nice. I recommend you check that that whole series out should be three videos soon and should be three altogether and uh hopefully those are much clearer than this series was at the beginning <clears throat> this might just be one video all to all you know instead of three itself thousand horses Oh, you know what? I do have to break it up into one hour blocks for YouTube, so let me just look 24 or 3. And we still want to train Spearwall, so we'll send 10 troops. Nammon. And when Spearwall is a 5, if it gets there here, then what we're going to do is we'll just running for him once again and improving for this guy. Um, when Spearwall is a 5, we'll just start training Harass, because we want to get that to 6. With the other two battles and the rest of this battle that are left in this council period for Bowser's Force. Unless there's, you know, magic, we could do that too. But I think it would be more cost-effective AP, CP, and TP-wise just to do Harass. Be 
One thing to take into account is the increased tactical success as you get to later levels. So then you'll require less and less TP or SP to cast. If you're just like going by the feel of it, then you want to take that into account too. If you do this method enough though, you'll get used to it. Just so that you can plan your moves a step ahead or so. And here's the last barrel. We'll start using some harasses soon. Now harass requires a lot less TP than spear wall. So now our counting has changed and we only require 25 SP. So we'll probably be able to use three harasses in a row. Tactical success rate or success itself doesn't really matter. We just we just you know want to use this extra TP up. So yeah, we can do one more with the 25 now. And there it is. We're getting some experience in harass as well. Which we'll be doing. We'll probably get harass up to four or five by the end of these other two battles that are gonna occur from the Bowser Force. And the whole council session altogether, we'll definitely get it up to end. Most likely. So we'll send another guy. Again, a thousand horses. And here, 10 Nami for Isaac Newton and Alan. Run for the guy who's attacking. Improve or intercept for Isaac Newton. right here in the fields, flats. Oh, I started using harasses now. And take note that harass, I should have done this in the last, um, in the last battle, but harass is most effective, of course, in fields, on shallows, in swamps, and on mountains. So we want to put him in the forest here, this other guy, so that we can take advantage of the increased tactical success. Oh shit. I fucked that up. I don't think we'll be able to use all the rest of the TP either. So again, planning ahead. I see that we have a lot of TP. Harass only costs 25 TP. I have 26 turns remaining, I think. Okay, I have 24 turns remaining. Um, with each turn, there's a deficit of 3 points between how much TP I'm gaining with this guy, which is 22, and the 3 from Harass. So that means that this number is going to decrease by 3 each time. In 22 turns, that'll be 66, which means I'll have 16 remaining. Which, you know, is okay. But uh, maybe if you didn't want to have any remaining, you could use another one of these tactics here, like Blaze or something. But let's just keep an eye out on that as the end of the battle comes. And we'll see what to do then. Doesn't matter if the other guy learned harass or not, I'm going to kill him later. So already we're at 52 ex uh, experience for that. Press is incredibly cheap. And effective when it's high. So we can just keep doing this again and again. Oh. 
and you finally succeeded. Not that that's relevant. Damn. <laughs> that was dumb. Yeah, just try and be careful about what tactics you're actually using. Not pressing random buttons and, you know, defeating the purpose of what you're doing, setting it in force and whatnot. When I was first playing this game, it literally took me about four or five months of playing. About two hours a day, three hours a day. In order to see that when tactics succeed, the guy's color, the unit's color doesn't change. But when they fail, it turns gray. I don't know why it took me that long. Alright, harass is a three. We'll get a lot more success out of it, so then a lot more TP will accrue faster. It won't be a four by the end of this battle. But it'll be close. It'll be very close. No, we don't know no normal attack then. And my counting was wrong from oh no. We did a charge, but still my counting was wrong from earlier about how many tactics we have later, like remaining. Or TP. Whatever. Keep doing her ass. Even though I used a charge, I think my count my count was wrong. Right. <clears throat> And yeah, you can train these as high as you want once you get there. Stop. You know, do whatever you want here. Let's save again. I you hope know, my computer does not freeze. A good practice is to send the non player controlled characters first to attack. And then to send the player controlled characters. And I'll show you why in the next council period. You'll see why. Kind of force once again. And we're a four in her ass already. So, we'll see how long it takes us to get to end. I predicted that it will be when it's Isaac Newton's turn in, in Council or Albert Einstein's. And it won't happen. Six won't happen or M won't happen in this battle. I think that's right. But it still goes pretty quickly. Why am I skipping turns? I should not be skipping turns. Sorry about that. Losing concentration. It's easy to do here. And now my harass is a five already. But I'm not even sure what turn it is. Fifteen. So it looks like mastery is going to happen in this battle. 
which is pretty fucking awesome. We'll have two of the three of our masters already. So again, if you get the point, you can skip ahead to any part of the video. Probably near the end, maybe I'll put an annotation later on in some parts of when you can skip and where to. Just get to like the conclusion. A couple more council periods is where I will um, finish off the whole method by killing Albert Einstein, his teacher, by killing all the bows, and then by, um, by you know, pressing start and well, I don't know why I do that, but it's just convention for me to, you know, press start, reset all the relationships, pressing start, leaving that as a new to the computer, and then picking them up the next month with L1, L2, R1, R2, start and select. Fuck. Should've done that. So yeah, we're gonna get a master in two more. Or three more. If I actually press the fucking button to do the tactic. Oh my god, no. Oh, hold on. I need a little break. <laughs> Alright. God damn it. Maybe this will be it. Good. And since we have two more turns, I'll put this guy on the flats. Where Isaac Newton can do some charges on him for no fucking reason. Even though we have everything available now. Guess I could have waited for a fire. Oh, here we go. I can do magic too. Let's do a magic. Doesn't matter if it fails or not, we still get some experience. We got a lot of battles, so failure, failure definitely is an option for these tactics as long as we use them in our gaining experience. Not dueling and not normal attacking, not taunting, no. Being dumb. So, so we quit out of here. And all these people want to do stuff. For Balban, we're not going to do anything. But for these other guys, they can just do whatever they want. Some of them are going to include patrols since we've been going to war, or maybe it's because of the beginning of the game, whatever. Whatever, whatever. Doesn't matter what Albert Einstein wants. <laughs> uh, but I will make him a warlord because I respect him, I guess. And then I'll save. And then I'll march off with Isaac Newton again. And I guess we'll train some magic now. Yeah, we'll get... we'll. Train up some magic. So again, 10 troops. But it won't matter what type we use. Because it's magic. Once again, you can plan ahead and pick... You know, pick a skill. Or pick a unit that... If you anticipate that you'll run out of magics for. Or if you anticipate that... Magic will be, you know, fully trained by the end of battle or something and you want to do something else with the TP and the rest of the battle, then, you know, plan ahead, pick a unit that accords with the tactic that you want to train in that situation. So, for this other guy, for Isaac Newton, we used, enter, we used Improve. We don't want to run or jog with Isaac Newton because then the morale might drop below, you know, a point that's acceptable. You might start retreating. This is very important if you have, if you're training in two adjacent cities, where, one, if your guy didn't have the navy skill, Isaac Newton happens to. If your guy didn't have the navy skill, we can just... Uh, haste, go hasty with this guy. If, um... If you were training in, like, Yang or something with a lot of rivers, you didn't have the navy skill. We keep an eye on his morale first. Magic, I think, just confuses, so morale's not an issue. Uh, I wasn't looking at morale. Okay, so we can just do that. If you're training in Yang, you don't have the Navy skill, um, you're gonna lose some morale. And if you're also... Why not? So we don't even have enough TP. 
All right, if you're also um, using run, then you're gonna lose a lot of, I'm not sure exactly of the amount of morale you lose at the end of 10 turns, but if you lose that morale and you don't have the navy skill, then you're gonna start retreating and then you leave the battle. Your, your troops will start retreating and then you, you leave the battle before all the turns are done. You don't wanna do that. So, magic's expensive. We'll get as many done as we can. The side effect of this whole method is that your war will increase nominally. We're already at 73 war. So that's something to compensate for if you don't want to get too high. If you don't care, or if you like war, to be extra like that. Knock yourself out, you know. But just something to look out for in advance. <coughs> Damn. So move this guy to the to the flats for a particular purpose and be very careful not to run into him. Um to use charge for our see our remaining move here because we have 30 TP. And it's the end of the battle now. This should train it up a little bit, even though that's probably counterproductive. As I said, I wanted to get inventory and cavalry later, training that tactic out elsewhere. We'll have other tactics to train like ambush and well that's the only one that we can train for that skill. Alright, so we're done here in this council period with these two. You know, just it's fun if you don't do anything. And in the interim, here's what we do. With Albert Einstein, what we're going to do is uh save again. What we're going to do Oh my god, is the microphone on? I didn't check. Okay. Uh, we're just gonna talk to um, Isaac Newton, military affairs, doing a duel. And this should increase the relationship between them very fast, get us to loyal very fast so that we can learn extra tactics from Albert Einstein using the save and loading method. So, set them both to flee. They'll still, you know, get closer faster if we do that. And it should be a lot better now. Or just better. Yeah. So it's still a trusted. Um, for the teacher here, if there is something like trample that, you know, I want to train on the teacher to make it easier for our guy to learn, then might as well do that, but it doesn't really matter right now here, as you see. So we'll just quit. And I doubt we'll learn anything here in this period, but to be prudent, let's just do a couple of banquets. And we only have 39 AP, so be wise. Well. Yeah, let's do the duel. And run or flee for both. So once again, this gets us to loyal faster, then we can learn the tactics faster. I mean, we're already at trusted. It'll just take a lot of saves and loads to um, a lot more saving and loading to learn those tactics from him at Trusted. You can do whatever you want though. This is just what I prefer. It saves both on, it just saves in real time at the expense of a little bit of, oh look the drunk's here. It saves in real time at the expense of just a little bit of um, game time. 
so, you know, do whatever you want. And, um, yeah, that's all, we, that's all we got here. For the other guys, Bowser and whatnot, first we get the ruler. We're gonna set him to pillage Chengdu to get some supplies. For Baban, who's already in the forest, we'll do the same. For the other guys, first what we do is we're gonna join the forest. And for the first guy to join the forest, we'll get him to first talk to the guy that we're not controlling. And then nominate him for service. And of course, it fails for no fucking reason. And that's why I put, you know, some extra safeguards in place, such as setting the parent as Bowser, you know, and whatever, so that we could just make this a lot easier on ourselves. It's probably not joining because our charismas are low. Perhaps that's something we want to watch out for later. But we want this guy in our force. We want 15 people in our force. So now he's joined, and that's fine. And then we continue to pillage, or fail pillaging. Pillage failures are fine too, because they raise the infamy of these guys, so that our guy, when he kills these guys at the end of the method, after everything's said and done, when he kills them, he doesn't get any infamy, or he gains a lot less. So keep applying, and pillaging. So we'll save here. And I think after this next duel, we'll be at loyal. If we're already at loyal, then we can start skipping. No, we're not, so it's irrelevant. Let's do compete. Realize I should have sent a work order for this guy, Albert Einstein, so that he could do some banquets too. That would have been smart. And some patrolling. But it doesn't matter. He can still do a couple of patrols. I set a war set at 64 using the hex editor. Again, you'll want to see the hex editing series of videos after this if you like this game and want a lot of freedom in what you can do with it. It's pretty much every cheat you can imagine all at once. You'll want to see those. Uh, so, we're still at trusted, which is a bummer. Let's see if the servant has any gold. Nope. So, uh, what did I say? I'm just gonna do a couple of patrols. We got bandits, of course. Just make life hard on us. Extra soldiers means less food. We'll start with the banquet. We're still at fucking trusted. So no one. Another one. Now we're at loyal. So at loyal you save. And just start attempting to learn tactics. If it's unsuccessful learning tactics, then just load again. So probably want to learn volley, rock slide, and ambush from him. So it'll take three different months, so can kill him in the next turn if I want those tactics. And here we are. Uh, start with Ambush. He's got an in. But, you know, I'll just kill him in the month after that. So, once again, Bowser just pillages Chengdu. Don't pillage Isaac Newton's force. That'd be stupid. <laughs> you don't want to do that. I mean, there's ways to compensate for it, like, you know, trading, or uh, using diplomacy to give them supplies, but you'll see in the next series of months, Isaac Newton's force is going to be running out of supplies very quickly. And if it happened to be a harvest, you know, while we were playing, that would be even worse. Because their, their safety is going to stay around zero for a while. So right now, we, we are, you know, increasing the ire with Leon's force. 
but we're decreasing his supplies too, so it's it's a little less likely that he'll attack us, especially on beginner. If they attacked us and they consumed all our troops, that would be bad because then we couldn't do this method anymore. And then you have all the other extra officers in the game who are crappy officers. You know, it's just it's too much too much to worry about there. So yeah, Albert Einstein's at Loyal already, so we could just campaign with him, do some patrols. How do you get all that gold? I don't know. Damn, got a lot of gold from something. Alright. <laughs> Shaved off the top from what he got, got it from the bandits. Who knows? So he saved, and now we're attempt to learn some other tactics. And again, all of this is doable on the PS2, so it's doable much quicker on the PC if you have the emulator. Just give it a shot. Um, just takes so much time. So, yeah. At moments like this, I just recommend you start skipping forward in the video if you haven't done so already. And Volley's gonna be next. Great. So he's learned Volley and some other stuff. We're going to train a tactic that we want to train in battle next. The reason why we train the tactic that we want to train in battle, such as, say, Aerostorm for 5 or Magic for M, should probably do Magic or Blaze for 5. We want to train these three some more in the barracks and uh, you can prioritize it any way you want I'm gonna I'm just gonna do um, her air storm and reload if it's unsuccessful once again taking advantage of the game systems to get what we want here and then you can decide you know not to cheat anymore once the whole method's done we got a success uh, no don't load we got a success, so we save. And you'll typically want to train here those things that are the lowest level and the highest SP or TP requirements. Aerostorm and Blaze are the same, so it doesn't really matter. If we were like Aerostorm and Harass, then you definitely want to train Aerostorm first, and then Harass. From 1s to 2s, just because you get so many points going from level 1 to level 2 when it's a successful training inside of the barracks. So, that's pretty much the order, order in which you want to train them. Just keep loading every time it fails. Which is going to be a lot, unless you're luckier than I am. Probably a lot of you. Yeah. I'm pretty shitty. Fuck. What time is it? Alright, alright, nice. <clears throat> got. We got a level 2. Great. So instead of 25% success, it'll be 35% success, which is noticeable. And uh, we'll gain more TP from trainings. And next, we want to train, as I said, Blaze successfully, so we keep loading. We're going to save, of course, every time you succeed. We keep failing at it. There we go. So it's successful now. We save. And... I'm not sure whose turn is next. Alright. 
to these guys once again. Oh, pillaging the yarns for us, not as it means. Alright, so Jen Ning is in chaos, what do you want to do about it? Um, since we're evil, we'll put it in the force. And San Jing's revolting now, so they're both revolting, how convenient. Um, the thing about this method is you just have to have enough troops to march. Or have enough food to march, and troops, of course, but food is most important. If you don't have enough food, things get very bad very quickly. You can't train your tactics. So, with Isaac Newton, we'll march to Bowser's Force with 10 troops. Oops. And I'll see what tactic I want to train next, and then pick the type of the troop accordingly. So let's train Aerostorm. We're gonna pick crossbows. And to retaliate, I guess we'll just pick a computer guy. A non-player character controlled computer guy with a thousand horses. Put him to improve, Isaac Newton. Put this guy to intercept. Oh, I think I need a snack. Hold on one second. Alright, I'm back, and once again, we'll just be using Arrow Storm a lot. <clears throat> Putting this guy um, in the rivers for increased tactical success. Why did I just... <laughs> that should be alright. I don't think camps give us extra TP. Nah. Pretty sure they don't, but... Let's slowly make our way over there. And they should... Alright, so how much TP do you have? 68, so it'll be 30 by the end of the next turn. Unless we gain... TP on the camp. Er, 25. I miscounted. So yeah, we're not getting any extra TP on the camp. It's 40, 42. Okay, so... What? Hold up. 25. 17, yeah. Alright. <clears throat> Just keep doing Aero Storm. Yes. What I'm doing right now is I'm letting the indicator for Blaze when the stratagem things show up tell me when also Aerostorm should be available because they require the same amount of TP. Unless it's raining, then I have to be extra careful, but it hasn't been. Like now. Fuck. 
I was bombarded. Oh well. Mm -hmm. 42. 57. 74. 76. So, it's the last turn. We only have 50 TP. What can we do? Let's we'll just do volley. Why not? Alright. So it's the end of Isaac Newton's turn. We'll go straight to the bows. And the reason why we have 15 bows is so that... Is there anything else we can do? I'm going to assign uh, Albert Einstein to patrol so that I can get 100 extra gold and work on that. So the reason why we have 15 battles is because, well, if you think about it, the ruler gets 6 CP, the warlord gets 5 CP. That's 11. We have, including Albert Einstein and Isaac Newton, and the warlord and the ruler, we have 4 additional player slots to include. So since we have 11 plus that 4, each of those 4 guys that we can also play as will have um, tactical periods where they can contribute input if they haven't acted already. They will have a CP in, in essence. Uh, since we have 15 CP total, we can march with 15 guys. So long as we always play, we always march with the non-player controlled characters first. So that's what we're going to do here. Once I save again because I'm compulsive, and it's a good practice. So we're going to march with somebody that we don't control until we run out of those people and then we march with people that we do control. So our key works just as well with 1,000 horses. And Isaac Newton will now march then with 10 crossbows to work on that arrow storm. It's taking forever. We run with Baku. Barrage with Isaac Newton. Hmm. It's going to be attacked level 3 already pretty soon. There it is. She gets much good success. Well, it's raining, so that strategy... Okay, it's not raining anymore, so that's irrelevant. <laughs> If we're raining, I wouldn't know when to count our storm based on when that stratagem thing pops up for Blaze. That's unique to this character anyway. Just gotta, you know, use intelligent shortcuts whenever possible. If your character didn't have Blaze, you wouldn't be able to do that. But you might be able to do something else entirely, who knows. In different cases. It's hard to turn 30, but we have exactly 60 TP, which is quite convenient. And there we go. 
so we're at like level, or we're at 83 experience inside of level 3 for Aerostorm already so far just then in this council period. The only other things we have to train to beyond level 4s for Isaac Newton are Blaze and, and Magic. So, oh we still have the other turns for the Warlords, so let's use those and march with, oh no, military march to Isaac Newton's force with an on-player character controlled officer, thousand horses. Once again, ten crossbows. Hmm. We only want to get it up to 5, so that might happen in this battle. We'll see. <laughs> Maybe not with all these failures. This doesn't look like we'll get a veteran, but that's fine. We have many more battles to include here in this council period. Again. Yeah, skip to the end if you get the point. There's no there's no reason to watch any more than you have to in this video. Because the method, once you get it down, is, is simple enough. It takes a bit more attention than I'm used to, at least, giving to things. So I don't have to... You know, so I don't press the wrong thing or perform the wrong action. And even though we only have about two more error storms until it gets to veteran level, which was our, um, which was our objective. Was I going to get volley to five too? I think so. So yeah, we can train volleys as well. Why not? I was going to say, if we weren't training volleys, we'd, uh, we just perform some blazes or magics with the extra TP in the battle. But by all means, if you can't finish, if you don't have anything to train, just end the battle. <laughs> yeah, no reason to stick along. 
Where's he have to? Stick around, tag along. Here we go, so just one more. And then we'll start doing some volleys. We'll get two of those for every three turns, roughly. So now we'll have two more the next two turns. It's feeling like a lot because it's level one, but you know, still useful to use. Or we can use it because we have so many battles that are available in the council sessions. Potential battles that are available in the council sessions with all these characters. You don't have to worry about something. I forgot what I was saying. It's tired. So since we have blaze, magic, and volley, so we'll just keep marching with crossbows as Isaac Newton. Doesn't matter after we uh, get that to five, what we do. Once again, non-player character control and a thousand horses. Huh. <sighs> Crossbows. Sound to have left. All right, lot. Hmm. Oh, my God. 
can run it through. Just a few more turns now. Then we can get the hell out of here. Uh, it'll just be that much uh, closer to our goal. Alright, that's that. Once again, if you somehow here didn't hear me the first time when I said it around. 10 minutes into the video. If you've seen all this before, if you know what we're gonna do, please don't watch it. <laughs> I don't want you to have to go through the same suffering as I'm going through in doing this. So one important consideration to take into account is just how many supplies our forces have. We want them to have enough so they're not losing battles. So I'm just gonna send somebody to spy, it doesn't matter who. And they're running out of, out of supplies here quite quickly. If you don't, if you remember, they began this council period with around eleven thousand eight hundred some odd supplies. Now they're at seven thousand, so they're losing about four supplies every battle. Or no, what am I? <laughs> they're losing about a thousand supplies every battle. We've had four battles; they lost four thousand supplies. So since we're gonna have about ten more battles to go through with this. It doesn't hurt to make it nine and give them some food. Once the ruler's turn comes up, at least. So that's what we're going to do then. I remember too. Seems like a long ways away. So with these other guys, who are um, character controlled, they make march proposals. I still send non character controlled people first and higher priority to go march with a thousand horses. This noon's going to retaliate with ten crossbows. He's gonna use Volley, and then he's gonna start using Magic, and then he's gonna start using Blaze. And then we're gonna start training everything except Charge to Force, and then we'll essentially be done with the video. Or a series of videos. But I believe this will be the last one if I don't make any mistakes. So I could go to about an hour and 20 some odd minutes, I think. Got a lot of time. Alright. <clears throat> Zvala is almost at five, that's wonderful. Then we're gonna move this guy closer the outpost so that we can take advantage of, uh, or that we can start casting magics and taking advantage of extra points in the outpost. Extra TP. Just two volleys now, if they succeed. And here we are. Wonderful. Alright. 
move this guy closer, not too close. Can I get in closer now? That's fine. Don't attack. Just use uh, magic when it pops up. So keep in mind, it's only been three months and we've got this guy up a tremendous amount in tactics. Tremendous. We're almost done. I mean, it is a five here and a five here and these two as fours. So let's continue. So this might wrap up in, in six months. Wait. Yeah. Yes. Six months total, I meant six more months. So now we only have 60 TP and it's the last turn, we're gonna use a blaze. There we go. Or cast a blazer or whatever. Okay. How about these gonna march? Or someone's gonna march. Propose a march. Thousand horses. Huh. Has it Newton? We ran out of crossbow tactics to use, so let me just take a look at some stuff here. Out of the things that we want to get it for as well, you might as well start using Nanmin so we can you know, do ambush after blaze and magic are over with. Torrent, you can use them as a unit type, doesn't matter. So. To improve. Huh. I'm going to get magic up to M, so it's going to take a while. Long as time. Probably won't happen for another two battles. I'm just guesstimating. Maybe more through increased rates of success.
Hmm. Who knows? Maybe there'll be an end by the next the end of the next battle. That'd be great. So we save again. <clears throat> Incredibly particular about how my screen is oriented. Like this one, help. <laughs> Never mind. I mean, like where the troops are on the screen and where the box is, just feels wrong right now. Yeah. So here's five. I used to love this game. I could do this all night. Mm. Like six years ago, but now not so much. Hopefully others will come to and enjoy it more than I do now have using this method in particular. So it's worth it, I guess.
Hold on a second. So yep, that's just going to be an end piece here. And then we'll start using place or ambush. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't matter because they'll both be at their levels that I wanted them to be ambushed at for blaze at five by the end of the council period. Oh, okay, so we already have an M there, so we can start doing this. We'll keep that bow guy around so they can do some douses if necessary. Hopefully it won't be raining too much. Otherwise, ambush. And he's in the forest. What's it? Oh yeah, magic doesn't matter. Um, last turn, so we don't have enough for... Oh wait, we do actually. There we go. Save. Oh. oh, by the way, it doesn't matter what we name these guys because they're going to die eventually. I don't particularly favor these names. And then make them for any reason other than to just have characters. Alright, so, when, like I said, now we're at 3,914. So we better give him some food before he runs out. We have 39,000. Certainly more than the, well, I don't know. Um, so, we'll just gift him through somebody. Why not make it the... Well, it doesn't matter. Supplies, 20,000. Turtle ruler. Yeah. And fortunately that will not be the end of the hostilities because now we're going to march them again. If we did not use the player control the non-player controlled characters in our marches first, then when it came time for these four guys to make their proposals, say if we march with this guy, now A minus, when it was Balban's turn to make proposals, then when it was about A's turn to make proposals, we wouldn't be able to do anything with him, let alone march. So then we'd be missing out on a turn. It's not so important right now because of the, you know, additional diplomacy action. Well, it is important. It's it's just important all around because you want that extra CP. So that's why you want to march first with non-player controlled characters in the council sessions. Excluding, of course, the teacher, which is Albert Einstein. In this case. No, just him. And, uh... Ooh. As far as teachers are concerned, you only ever need a maximum of three. William Cody, Albert Einstein, and Ben Franklin cover all of the tactics. Should correspond to Sun Bin, Zhang Liang, and fuck. Uh, some other guy in the PAL version. I'm gonna think about that for a while. Wei Fei? Yes. So William Cody's Wei Fei. Y U E F E I. In the Japanese or PAL version of the game. 
And um, yeah, he's got a lot of useful stuff, including Berserk and Bombard. Let's make sure he's on the forest. Just oops, I didn't want to do that, but it doesn't matter if he runs into Isaac Newton. If we're the other way around, then there'd be a problem. But yeah, just make sure this guy's on the forest for when we use ambush. If we use ambush. Say if it were raining or something. And we couldn't do a blaze, might as well use an ambush. Part of that thinking ahead. That's uh that's useful. Not only that, but remembering what we just saw, which was that the wind was blowing from a southwestern direction. So we didn't have to look that up again. Now it's northwest. Or whatever. Sounds for me. And since there's no, since it's raining, we'll take an extra chance. And now it's not raining, so we'll just use uh, blaze. Sorry, at two, which is good. to get and I mean that's stupid. It doesn't need to be said. And it's raining. Since I'm gonna get 22 TP the next turn or something like that, then I wanna I wanna ambush now. So we'll just do that. Even though it's a failure it's still better than wasting TP. Not taking into account because I'm lazy. The total expenditure of TP in the battle. Whatever. But uh, it's hard. Take a nap. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, and we're going to finish up the method hopefully pretty soon here. And that was a horse. Yes. Oh yeah, that other crap. Well, okay, I said I was going to get Ambush to 4. We're going to get Blaze to 5. We're not going to worry about Torn and Ambush, because you can just train those whenever. Or you can just imagine that I went an extra council period and wasted time like that. 
Well, we'll see what happens at the end of four battles. But I doubt. I don't know. We'll just see. So, ten troops. Just about four battles this period, and that could be enough, actually. Which I think I said earlier. I forgot. It was a good nap. <laughs> Kind of sad. This makes me so tired. After only two hours, I have to take a break like that. Oops. Blaze. Just, you know, move them on force just in case there are rains and we can't, we'd have to do an ambush to not waste TP. guys get to or if the main guy gets injured, you know, that just means less TP and that's inconvenient. So, I don't want him to burn at all. There we go. This last turn, yeah, 60. I might as well just use this anywhere. There we go. Huh. Save. And since we'll get a 5 in Blaze this in this battle, then we'll start training ambushes. And once we get to 4 ambushes, then we can start killing everybody in the next council. So my favorite part is being evil. Yeah. 
Oh, oh perhaps there's another, um, yeah, there's another tactic that I wanted to learn from Albert Einstein. I won't get to train it, but whatever. You know what, I'm not even going to train Ambush. You use a barracks for that. Or just imagine that I win another council period. I'm not going to do it here. I want to. Maybe this will be an in. I'm not sure. What? Can count. This one. And now we have five. And now we can start doing ambushes on this guy. Oh, it's 45 TP for an ambush. Wait, didn't I say I was going to do this? <laughs> Let's look at what we got so far. This should be... Yeah, this is okay. We'll just train this to 4, this to 4, this to 4 later. Rockslide will train to 4 after we learn it from Albert Einstein. We can quit out of here. Let's just... Retreat this guy. And now we're going to conclude the method. Let me just see how much time we got left. Perfect. Let's save. No, not necessary. Go away. And um, we could stop pillaging because we only need to pillage it a few times. Um, you know, just be careful, let's do that. This guy, you know, if he doesn't learn inside of these three turns, I'm not going to save and load again. If he doesn't learn rock slide, then forget it. I don't care, but for the purpose of the game, you, you know, you can do whatever you want to do. Just finish up with the following thing that I'm about to do afterward. So once again, just quit these guys. Oh, there's a drunk. Who cares? And, uh... Okay. I don't think it's gonna wear it. Before I forget, let's do a withdrawal of a d withdrawal of most of the gold in the force. I guess you could just march with some foot soldiers and whatever. So just take that gold. Just to keep it after we kill everyone. Agree like that. that I didn't go. Yeah. 
I don't think this is necessary, but I'm just gonna... I'm not gonna take it all out. So once again, let's take one last look at our tactics. This is where we're at, and I'm just gonna finish up by killing everybody, and then playing the game with Isaac Newton as, as I normally would. Uh, you could optionally learn Rock Slide, force Albert Einstein to teach Isaac Newton Rock Slide at this moment. And then we'll have 3111. We could get these to fours if we want, and then train charge separately to get infantry and cavalry in those respective provinces that are, you know, where, wherever we would meet them. You know, you could do whatever you want at this point. I'm just gonna quit soon. So yeah, so now this will be the last council session. Since the last council, council session and I want to train more tactics, I'm just going to quit out of all these guys. Take one last look here, make sure they have enough food and stuff to march. And now, Albert Einstein is going to march by himself over here, get captured and get killed. Just out of instant. Because I don't want him to live through the main part of the game that I'm going to start now, presumably. Now that I'm done training stuff. You know, we just need one person. Doesn't matter what they got. There. Just capture them. Horses would have been optimal. But whatever. Jog, sure. Marine would have been useful. Intercept. Oh. There's a greater chance of getting caught if they attack us. I'm gonna just catch them. So yeah, once again, we're just concluding the method. You could stop watching now. So we're getting rid of all the extra officers that we have been using. Now our guy's gonna march off and capture all of them in their city. Uh, he doesn't really need a thousand, but it doesn't matter how many he has. Or 14,200. Send these guys into battle with one troop. If I can just retreat with that guy without having to move him, so he just gives the city up. No. Nope. I'm going anyway. I don't know how one person kills 111 people out of 14,200, but whatever. So now we just kill him. I'm just getting rid of them. I don't want them around. I'm sick of their faces. <laughs> and there we go. A lot quicker than the other series of videos. Well, maybe it's not quicker, but it's a lot clearer. That's important. So we've concluded. What I'm going to do is withdraw the gold here, just to keep some extra gold from this. all this. 
He doesn't have that much info, which is good. He's gained a little bit of fame. But yeah, we just do that. Hopefully, if you leave him the computer, you don't lose all your gold. That would be stupid. But let me pretend like I'm gonna just start a new game running Cow Cows for us. Oops, start select, whatever. I want to. I want to start select. So yeah, you do lose all your gold, which isn't a good idea. <laughs> so you don't have to you don't have to restart like that to reset relationships. Presumably he doesn't have any. So yeah, just you know you can start your normal game now, and you'll have a lot more tactics. And once again, that only took six months as we began in July of 194. But we gained so much out of that time in that game time. So yeah, hopefully this method. We also gain four war. Hopefully this method is really useful. You find it um, makes your games funner to play, so you're not missing a lot. Especially if you're playing on advanced, it can be frustrating when you know the enemy gains 50% success chance to attack the game, you lose 50% success or whatever that margin is. But yeah, so we started a game. Thanks for watching the series of videos. If you suck through the whole thing. Uh, kudos to you. Um, watch the next series about hex editing Romance of the Three Kingdoms 8. And there I talk about how to modify everything from names, attributes, gold, AP, to troop levels, uh, commander and tactical assignments. Um, you could probably modify city and facility attributes here. You definitely can. You can modify their names. I made Cow Cow into a female and made his, and made his father in the second hex editing video. So. You definitely want to see that series if you like this game. Um, so alright, thanks for watching and hope everyone has a good one.